Well, hello today. I'm going to show you how to set up your LG OLED 653 27L air television. This is a smart, smart television which comes in 42, 48, 50 inches, 77, 83, or as shown here, the 65 um, inch version of it. It's an LG OLED. Evo television with the Cinema HDR 120 heart and it's a smart television. Now let's perform a setup. We are going to come and uh, we switch the energy uh, supply on and here you see now we see we press the OK button on the wheel on our remote. If you have a magic remote like me here, the remote controller and enter key is in the middle of it and we push it once and then we can select the installation mode. How we navigate here, we can go left, go right, go up, go down and enter with that button here. But also we can shake the remote a little bit and then we have a current there. This is an arrow as you can see. And here we can choose by tipping on the enter button here on the uh, um, navigation wheel and then we can choose between different um, options as you see but what options we now have here select installation method we select how to initialize our television settings we can initialize it by using the mobile that is an app for our smartphone or at the television itself let's choose the television way Language and location settings. Our television will start by default. This is normal configurations. Confirm your locations and language settings. That means here we can choose which country we are here. United Kingdom, Sweden, Spain. Let's have a look here. Norway, Luxembourg, Iceland, Germany. La 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 la. Um, you can choose your country there and of course we can choose the language you can see a lot of you can, you can see a lot of language are available with this lg oled television so exit first use or store mode you can choose what you need if you go to store mode of course this is an information mode for if you like to sell this in, in, in your own store exit first use that is um, switch it off again and we go to the next thing. The next thing is the internet connection. Internet connection is available, of course, on local area network patch cable. This you have to dock in this in uh, on the left back side of the um, television, of course, or you use the Wi-Fi connection here. We can choose now one of the um, Wi-Fi services that is here a lot of, as you can see, you can ch choose your own Wi-Fi, 5 gigahertz or 2.4, no problem. And then you can enter, as you can see with this keyboard by navigating through it by the cursor, as you can see here with the cursor or by buttons. Now enter your password and we can continue with the setup process. If you like to uh, enter the password, word and you confirm it by using the enter key. Now it is a connecting and as you can see it works. Of course you can skip the internet connection, of course yes, but there will be a problem because of the terms and conditions. You have to read and agree these t uh, terms and conditions uh, because uh, otherwise it will not work with the smart options. So if you does not agree this, you cannot use the app, the um, the apps on it, um, and special functions from the LG and so on. Um, so you have to agree it, uh, and it's for free. So agree it. <laughs> Um, analytics of user environments. We connect all the using devices to our television and turn them on. That means if you have a PlayStation, if you have an Xbox, if you have a um, Blu-ray player or something, dock it now and it will be seen here. Now we have no pair devices so far and that means we can go to the next step. But if you have something, then you can here um, use it to edit it. That means different uh, different styles, different sound levels for each um, device which 
you have paired or connected to this system here. We go to the next step. Check settings and set your address. We select an item to modify and change it. Auto-connected devices can be controlled with the LG TV's remote control. That's really cool because we can navigate them um, if they are, uh, they are agree that um, with our magic remote. Otherwise, we can use the phaser uh, uh, cable. Uh, this is the LED IR sensor, which is included in the delivery. We can select here um, to set up the set-top box only, the television only, television and setup box or nothing. Let's perform now, for example, television. We are going to enter now the passcode and um, see something um, about the address. And um, this will help us um, in continue um, setup of this. So we have no, uh, the way to watch TV here is with setup box only, only TV or nothing. If you does not need this device here to watch television, you can use the streaming um, applications like Netflix, Disney Plus and so on. Of course, this will work. Um, but if you have an old school connection um, over a satellite or the cable network, and um, then you have to, um, of course, um, you have to, to, to check this with the address to make there and search of the right, um, the right uh, programs as well. Yeah? So television only, let's go to the area postcode and then we can continue this. The next app to install on our television is the television type. We select installation method for our television, of course. Um, the sound may be optimized depending on the installation method itself. So in this case here, you can see it is a stand installation, okay? There is the stand on the bottom side of the television, and this is on furniture later, and that means the sound um, will go a little bit another way to your ears, as if it is wall-mounted. If you have a wall-mounted setup, use here wall-mounted. If you have stand set up, use stand. In this case now, we have to choose stand. Now you hear and you are going to see the artificial intelligence functions. We can now choose the AI functions. LG's deep learning technology can enhance the image clarity and resolution according to the counted being viewed and provide optimized depth effects and virtual 7.1.2 three-dimensional sound. But there's only two speakers built in. That means we have a stereo system. But the AI function can make out of this stereo and a three-dimensional surround sound. Let's choose this, for example. Have a look at the AI picture, okay? You see there is a kid and the ABC. The ABC is not so crisp. If I now switch on the AI Picture Pro, you will see the ABC is really clear. And um, the face of the kid is more sprinkled. Let's switch it out again. You can see the difference. I think I can see it. Now to the sound. The sound is the same. You can make out of a stereo system now a three-dimensional surround sound. Let's try this. You hear the difference, isn't it? Um, but the AI sound is not every time the best solution. I think so. Because if there is a cinema is running, for example, a movie, you are looking at a movie and maybe sometimes there are problems with the sound in action scenes and in talk scenes. Then you can switch uh, the solution for a better sound is to switch that um, AI thing off. Now we can choose an always ready display. When the television is turned off, it switches to always ready to provide optimized wallpapers, voice recognition and mobile devices music playback. If we use a remote control other than the magic remote, the wallpaper settings may not be supported. So you can choose now switch on or of course off the always ready function. Returning this option on may this increase our energy consumption. Oh yeah, of course, <laughs> because um, if there is an always 
this is nearly an always on display because of this it of course uh, consume a little bit more power let's go to the next step now we see here program tuning okay we select the program tuning mode antenna cable or satellite so now um you you do you docked in the cable for the satellite you only choose of course the satellite cable if you choose the cable you have the cable to connect in and the antenna the same and then you can go to the next tab and make a digital only search for example we skip analog programs and tune a digital programs only or a smart retuning then we can here make a full search or a quick search there you can choose the network id and the modulations you see here you can make the really uh, editable um, function with it so then digital only search for cable tuning of course uh, if you choose only cable antenna or something only one of these options are coming to you i choose all three so we have to perform this in all three to see what's going on there. Digital only, it's the same, or we skip scram programs, and that you can choose. Then we go to the next step. Single or dual. That means if you have two, 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 two aerial cables are connected of the main and the sub ports in the backside of the television, dual tuning is available when twin LB or an uni cable is being in use. We may watch and work it at the same time after completion of the program tuning. If you use it, like I, I told you, that means two cables. Um, two LMBs on a satellite way, or um, then you can make a recording and looking at the same time, or you can use dual ports, uh, of course, um, in 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 the satellite area. Dual is uh, in 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 the other cable network is available, of course, with an a uni cable. If your dose does only have one single cable installed, then choose single. Next step available. Now we are in the satellite operator. We can make a free set or other operations to choose. Free set is uh, the satellite which we are going to see it. Now you can see it is searching for channels. If it found some channels, it will show them, them here, for example. You see 60%, 70% it runs and third scan the program. This is the antenna way, this is the cable scan and this is the satellite scan. If there are uh, programs found, they will be um, playing after we finishing this operation here. So let's go to qu quit. We skip this now because I have copyright problems if you can see the, the, the this program if we found something. You does not skip this, of course, you go uh, and complete this. If you complete this, you can make an LG account if you like. We can make, download new apps or update existing apps. We personalize the content will be recommended based on our signet in account. We can control our LG devices from television by connecting with the Thin Hue app. We can sync it with the mobile web interface or we can sing it on television or we can sing in with the mobile lg thin q app itself or we can skip this because the lg account is not um, the thing what you does have to need and here we can install the content app recommended by lg we can easily sign up or sign in selected the image below that means we can install lg channel join prime video for example and of course, here we have to sign in before we are completing the, um, um, the setup program, or you can make this later. So we've done this now, and here we are. Now, if you have found some programs, it will show here, okay? In my case, it's not programmed because of the copyright. To navigate now, we are using our smart remote here, to go to the home, we have to do the home button. You can see now the home screen is loading. To navigate here, we can choose the controller, okay? Or we use 
the um, buttons over up, down, right, left and enter. Okay, so we can navigate through the operation system, as you can see. We see here the apps. We have Joy, Netflix, Rakuten TV, Prime Video, Disney Plus, WOW, Apple TV, Ultra L Plus, Shoptime, and so on. We can push on it and hold the power bar or the enter button. And now we can, for example, delete this. Of course, you can always get back these apps by going into the um, apps store. This is an, um, an app store from LG. There we can download the app again and install the app and then you can use it. And the, here you can see the apps which are available are features, entertainment, game, news and info, life and educations. You can see exercise apps, game apps and so many more. To exit this, you can go to the um, back button. This is this button over here. This is the back button. That means you can navigate to the previous menu or if there's no previous menu, you can um, switch off the app while it is running in the background. Other here, this is the source button. You can choose the source, what you have on it. Storage, for example, television inputs, live television, you can choose or um, if there is a PlayStation or an Xbox or a DVD player, Blu-ray player, something like that. And you can go to the home dashboard. The home dashboard here is our dashboard, um, as, you, as you hear it, of course. You can see here, you can choose um, every um, single connection method. HDMI and um, HDMI 3, HDMI 2, the live and television in antenna settings, HDMI 4, and here you can choose them separately. You can choose AirPlay, you can connect mobile devices by using um, sound chair, for example, more uh, you can uh, share your screen for it. You can join a media server if you have one. Optical out device you can, and a remote um, personal computer is here necessary to use. We can connect and home IoT devices, of course, to it. That is the dashboard for your um, in your information. So next thing is what can we do then? We can go to back to close the app. So here we are again back in business. If we go to push here this setup button, uh, one uh, on the left side setup able um, available pro um, programs apps will be enabled. Here this is the picture mode, sound modes, here sound out, game optimizer, mode view, OLED care, networks connected to wireless, and of course here come all uh, settings or in the edit mode. You can perform an edit of your uh, system, of course, to use it. You can also use um, your voice to navigate. That means here, if we're going to use the voice command, we have here a voice button, okay? I will push it once. Um, and here we can then um, push and hold it to navigate, for example open uh, YouTube, for example, or uh, switch to, um, to, to, to another channel or and this a record, this so many different things. Only push and hold this sound button over there and you can talk with your computer no, system. It's, it's, like, it's like a computer system, isn't it? So here we are, this is our television setup. And now you can have fun with your LG OLED 65C 27LA or Cinema HDR 120Hz Smart Television. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback. And I hope to see you again on my channel. Sun, sun.